Hello lovely people, welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hives. We have been together in the journey of this four episode series on how to give and receive feedbacks. So we have seen models about coaching where we give feedback and give options and lay out plans for people. We have looked at models which helps us grab, extract more feedback. And now today we are going to look at a very simple model. Once I frame it for you, you'll be like, I've been doing that and I want that reactions from you. Please, please, please comment on the videos and like, subscribe my channel. Boring. Crap. No pop. Oh, too much pop. More crap. Horse crap. Chicken crap. Elephant crap. This is, it's, it's all crap. Oh wait, this, this isn't crap. This is crap with a little dressing of vomit on top of it. So, coming to the model that I want to talk about today and that is, did well, do differently. Which basically is a positive reinforcement of what change you want your team member to have or your mentee to have or your coachee to have right so what this model does is kind of removes negativity out of your feedback completely so instead of you telling somebody you have done this wrong you would end up saying you would have done this differently and that's the whole idea behind this model tells us that we should start our conversation with pointing out what went well let's say for example you are here to give feedback to someone after they do a presentation once you're ready to give the feedback you would rather start your discussion with everything that went well in that presentation and then you drive the discussion towards what all things that individual could have done differently. Maybe you would ask them if they want to tell certain things that they feel that they would have done differently. And then you could also tell, perfect, fine, certain areas that I feel you could have done differently. And you go on to suggest those corrections. I bet you this discussion ends up with more positivity, more acceptance, and a better result. Start using this model and you will see great results. But I bet you've been using it because a lot of people, when they teach how to give feedback, they tell you first, try to start your conversation with something positive. And that's basically this model, right? What went well? And what are you gonna do different? Two simple questions and great results did well do differently start using this model and share your feedback with me how you're finding each of these models that we have been talking in the four episode series i'm sure these are these models are going to benefit you guys uh, please use it please try it out and share your comments your feedbacks with me i'm very curious to know the impact of it thank you so much and we'll connect again next week. Bye-bye.